A man charged with killing his girlfriend 12 months ago in Kimball could be standing trial later this winter. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, a tentative trial date has been set for a Kimball man charged with killing his girlfriend. 37-year-old William Serrano is back in Kimball County District Court late last month as he faces charges including attempted first-degree murder, manslaughter, and possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. Attorneys agreed to a February 27th deadline for any possible plea agreement to be reached, and if unable to do so, a four-day trial beginning on March 13th was scheduled. Serrano is accused of fatally shooting Tessa Gehring in the evening hours of January 3rd, 2022. Well, the former manager of the Scott Bluff Inn, who was arrested in September for reportedly selling drugs out of the hotel, will not be standing trial. 39-year-old Garrett Cunningham was taken into custody after a search warrant was served on his living quarters at the property, which resulted in the seizure of 149 suspected fentanyl pills, a stolen handgun, and trace amounts of methamphetamine. Last week in district court, he pleaded guilty to the Class 1D felony charge of possession of a firearm by a prohibited person, and in exchange for his plea, the drug charges were dropped. He's facing a mandatory minimum of three years in prison when he's sentenced on March 3rd. We'll have more news right after this. Swipe right, swipe left, endlessly searching. Finding the perfect match isn't always perfect, but it can be when it comes to finances. Nora found the perfect business loan. Jenny opened her first savings account. Grammy loves her checking account. We found a match for Wilson Farms. The Sandersons were matched with a mortgage. Regardless of your financial situation, Platte Valley Bank will match you with the perfect solution. Find your match at Platte Valley Bank. It's time for the recycling game. Question one, where do you recycle old electronics in the Tri-City area? The Environmental Services at 609 East 2nd Street. Correct. Question two, where can you find recycling trailers? Trailers can be found in Gearing and Terrytown. Correct. Final question, how can you dump recyclables and not have to sort them? The free stream recycle bins from the city. That's correct. You just won a cleaner and happier city. Brought to you by Tri-City Stormwater. back, U.S. Senator Deb Fischer, who is a senior member of the Senate Armed Services Committee, released the names of the Nebraskans she is nominating this year for U.S. Service Academies. Of her 18 nominations, two of them are from the Southern Panhandle. Gabrielle Fortner of Sydney received nominations to both the U.S. Air Force Academy and the U.S. Naval Academy, while Jenison Spady of Llewellyn received nominations to both the U.S. Air Force Academy and the U.S. Military Academy. Senator Fisher says these talented young individuals have proven themselves to be exceptional students in the classroom and dedicated leaders in their communities, adding that they will represent Nebraska and our country with honor. Well, with the new legislative session underway, Bayard Senator Steve Erdman has been quick to introduce several bills. One of those is LB-178, which would require school boards to prominently display In God We Trust in each classroom or other prominent place in each school building. It continues that it shall be placed where each student would be able to see and read it every day school is in session. Erdman's legislation notes that school boards would be able to accept contributions to defray associated costs. The bill was introduced on Monday, but no word on when it may reach the floor for first-round debate. And the Wyoming Supreme Court has declined to answer questions involving a lawsuit over the state's new abortion ban. 
The ruling keeps the case wholly in state district court, at least for now. Teton County District Judge Melissa Owens had certified 12 questions in the case to the state high court, which ruled it lacks information to answer them. Wyoming's new law would ban abortion except in cases of rape or incest or to protect the mother's life or health. Owen suspended the law since it took effect in July, siding with four women and two nonprofits who sued to contest the ban. Are new windows from Renewal by Anderson a great investment? You're darn right they are. Did you know that for less than your cable bill or cell phone bill each month, you could have new windows from Renewal by Anderson right now? Do the math. Renewal by Anderson windows will likely cut your energy bill significantly. They will likely substantially increase the value of your home. They're a great investment. Please contact our team now and ask about our fantastic financing options with approved credit right now. Renewal by Anderson, a great investment? You're darn right. The Evergreen Credit Card by FNBO. Earn unlimited 2% cash back on every purchase, every day, everywhere. Never worry about expiring points or category restrictions. Plus, there's no annual fee. Only from the great big small bank, a bank ever ready for you to earn more, wherever life leads. Evergreen by FNBO. Now, sports from the FNBO Sports Desk. FNBO, the great big small bank. A jam-packed weekend of basketball coverage for us, but we'll start with another local signing. On Tuesday afternoon earlier this week at Gearing High School, senior Cammie Newman put pen to paper to finalize her college decision. She'll head to Doan University to continue her volleyball career. When I got to the campus, everyone was super nice and welcoming, and the people there were super supportive. My decision helped me throughout the campus and when I practiced with the team the coach was super nice and the team was super wel welcoming and I liked the dynamic of the practice. It was like um, based on like building strength and skill. This past season, Newman was third on the Bulldogs team in kills with 138, also came up with 36 total blocks up front defensively. Newman credits her time in the Gearing program for helping her get to this point. Yeah, it was definitely like very, I think, like competitive to get on like varsity and starting because we have so many great hitters and kind of earning my spot there and competing with my other teammates while also being in the team with them. Um, it was a super big plus to have a big front row just for games and all that. The head coach at Gearing High School is Amanda Cochran, who says Newman will bring plenty of those intangible type things to the next level, which will give her a chance to succeed at Doan. Man, you look around this room and look at all the lives that she's influenced. Um, just hear the support for her. Cami really stood out as a leader for us in our offseason. Um, her work ethic is second to none, um, her work ethic in the weight room. Uh, so a fantastic leader, and I think that's going to be huge for her continuing on in college. Gearing senior Cami Newman earlier this week signing to play volleyball at Doan University. We'll have Gearing basketball each of the next two nights. The Bulldogs at Wheatland tonight before playing at home tomorrow against Gordon Rushville. For Scott's Bluff, they'll travel to play tomorrow, home on Saturday, road trip to Cheyenne Central, and then hosting East on Saturday. We'll have radio coverage for all four doubleheaders. Gearing on KMOR 93.3, Scott's Bluff coverage 107.3. 
the trail. Also basketball the next three days at WNCC's Cougar Palace. The women off tonight before games tomorrow and Saturday against Western Wyoming and Casper. The Cougar men, they'll play those same two squads, but they'll be in Casper tomorrow and Saturday. Chuck Schwartz making the trip. He'll have the men's broadcast Friday on KOLT, the Saturday game on KMOR. That is the latest today from right here at the FNBO Sports Desk. I'm Chris Cottrell. The Evergreen Credit Card by FNBO. Earn unlimited 2% cash back on every purchase, every day, everywhere. Never worry about expiring points or category restrictions. Plus, there's no annual fee. Only from the Great Big Small Bank. A bank ever ready for you to earn more, wherever life leads. Evergreen by FNBO. Culture trumps everything else. In my years, I've never worked for a company that treats people the way this one does. It is my passion for agriculture that brought me here in the first place, but not only that, there's a huge uh, family-oriented atmosphere within the 21st century equipment. I love working for 21st. They found something in me that I didn't know in myself. An intern to where I'm at now is such a great opportunity, and that is what this company is about. Let's take a look what's happening on today's community calendar. The Community Calendar is brought to you by Riverstone Bank. First State Bank is now Riverstone Bank. Community strong with the same people you know and trust. Morrill County Community Hospital and the behavioral health providers are here to help. Amber Dean specializes in mental health care, which includes medication and therapy across a person's lifespan. Melody Lysey helps people deal with a wide range of behavioral problems, from depression and anxiety to child psychiatry. Our dedicated team is committed to you and our community every time. At Morrill County Community Hospital, Bridgeport, Nebraska. Exceptional care, right here at home. At Platte Valley Bank, we want to help you plan for tomorrow while you enjoy today. Our personalized trust services can help you do just that. You've worked hard to build your legacy, and you want to make sure that gets passed on for generations to come. We offer the professional guidance necessary to ensure that happens. According to your wishes, we pride ourselves in being friendly and professional while offering a highly tailored full line of trust and estate planning services to accommodate you. You belong here. And finally tonight, the Scotts Bluff City Council has given approval for the purchase of a new truck for the city's transportation department. Last week, 
a $215,000 bid from Floyd's Trucking was approved to buy a new truck, chassis, sanding unit, and snowplow. Public Works Director Mark Bull says the trade-in value seemed too low and asked the city to keep their existing one for down the road. The $15,000 for the trade-in, I'd rather keep that truck. Um, we're not adding to, we're replacing, but we, we can find a home for this truck uh, with the plow and sander, whether it goes to another community where we, we take that plow and sander off and uh, pass that on to the parks department. Council members Jeannie McCarrigan, Jordan Caldwell, and Matt Solomon all voted to approve the bid, while council members Angela Scanlon and Betsy Vidlack were absent from last week's meeting. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you here next time.